Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of Three Colors Raw, the show that's full of photography love. And hey, we've got a bit of Photoshop left for you. I've been promising it to uh, the team and uh, here it is guys. I finally got around to recording this for you. And what are we doing in the show? We are going to go through how to remove unwanted elements in Photoshop. And here's the lovely image. If you had seen last week's uh, video, you know I would have talked about this. Um, this is from the New South Wales North Coast. It's uh, from Coffs Harbour and it's so dangerous. Damn cool sunrise. You've got the orange. This is like my perfect sunrise colors. You've got the oranges, you've got the blues, you've got the magentas. It's like, ah, oh, it's awesome. Awesome. And it's also my perfect water movement. So you can see up here, it's a fifth of a second, so half a second, and uh, 80 ISO, so as low as the ISO can go on the D800 I was shooting this with. So F16, so everything's all, all sharp, and I can get that um, get that uh, 0.5 of a second shutter speed. And you can see this is my favorite water movement. It's called, I call it, the suck out. How cool is this? So a massive wave came in in here and inundated all this, which is awesome. You know, all this area got wet for one and you can see the golden light hitting off it, which is just so damn cool. I love it. But then you get these awesome lines called the suck out. But uh, what happened right as that wave came in, check this out, <laughs> drop, drop, drops on my lens. So I got wet from the waist down, so it looks like I peed my pants, <laughs> which isn't a good look, but that's okay. I'm a Lancia photographer. I can take it. We're tough, right? And uh, you can see I got a few drops on my um, on the front element of my, my lens there, and my camera got a little bit wet, but hey, that's okay. It's water sealed. I wiped it down. Wet, you know, tip for if your camera gets wet, man, I just get a fresh cloth and just wipe it down, you know, a um, little bit damp cloth, wipe it down, then wipe it with a dry cloth, so fresh water, and that seems to fix it. Look, you you know, seascape, landscapes, uh, you can only get wet every now and then. But anyway, you can see, I didn't want to move because I knew this was the one. This is the biggest wave that it hit. And uh, you can see what happens on the suck out. The water rushes in and wets everything. And then on the rush out, you click that shutter and you get these beautiful lines, which I absolutely love in the suck out. So cool. What are we going to do? We're going to remove this. We're going to remove this. I'm going to get rid of this tree. I love the tree. Don't worry. It's not going, but I'm going to use it as an example and show you how to remove it. All right, let's jump over to Photoshop. In the shop, first thing I'm going to do is Command J, Control J if you're a Windows user. By the way, guys, <clears throat> I haven't used Windows for about um, 10 years, maybe 12 years. I don't know. It's been an awful long time I've been on a Mac. So I do apologize if I stuff up the keyboard shortcuts. I'll do the best I can. <laughs> All right. The first thing I'm going to do is Control plus, Command plus if you're on Windows. And uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit here. And you can see I've got a dust spot or something on the front of my element. And you can see that nice big water halo there. Oh, got to love those. So we're going to jump over here. And you can see this is going to be the, some of the stuff I'm going to use today. Spot healing brush. Absolutely love this tool. It, uh, it really removes dust spots quite easily. Okay, If it doesn't, I'll show you another tool that I always go to after that. And if it hits a tri tricky spot or something like that. So I'm going to... Just paint over that there. I just use the left and right brackets, makes the brush bigger and smaller. Now, I will use the brush tool here. I'm sorry, I will use the patch tool here. Not the patch tool, Johnny, get it right. I will use the spot healing tool here, but it doesn't done a great job. You know, I'm not, not really happy with that big purple blah there. So I'm gonna undo that. And sometimes, 90% of the time, that spot healing brush does a great job and it's my go-to tool. But um, this one's gonna be a little bit trickier. So I'm gonna grab this patch tool here, okay? So I'm on the patch tool, we're on normal, I got uh, source, so I'm going to select the source here, sorry, this is the source, the destination, <laughs> and then I'm going to move this over to my source, and much better job, look at that, control Z, a lot nicer, a lot nicer, so I love the, love the, uh, love the patch tool, it's about 10% of the time I'll go to this if I get a tricky spot, particularly like the one I just had, so you select the area you want to remove, you grab the selection and you put it in the, the, the source area that you want to source from source area you want to source the selection from so it uh, patches from that area and boom let it go and there you go and control d that deselects so boom there we go and uh what i would do now is i'm going to go back to that spot healing rush and i'm just going to grab the hand tool i'm just going to have a quick look around here you can see you know i can go and go in a little bit tidy here i'm in at about 50 percent there and that's usually enough 50 100 and just buzz around there might be a slight little one over here i think i need to get my center clean so 
there might be a couple. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to buzz around that sky. Have a quick look. All right, last thing. Oh, there's one there. So last thing you want to do is uh, get this image ready for the web or ready. Oh my God, if you get it printed and there's a dust spot. <laughs> Epic fail. So make sure you zoom in. Use that space bar. Turn to the hand tool. Pull, um, move, the, move the image around. Make sure you cover that, that uh, whole that sky area and, or the whole of the image actually. Have a good look around. You can see there's another watermark there. Ooh, terrible. Terrible. All right, but something I want to show you here is content aware fill, okay? Um, now, content aware fill works really, really great. If you had a branch sticking into the scene or a little stick that you wanted to get rid of, and there's another little dust spot there, um, it works really, really great. And I'll show you why I wouldn't just use content aware fill without doing a bit of stone, um, without doing a bit of clone stamping. That's what I was thinking, clone stamping, okay? So if I was to make a selection here, I'm going to boop, boop. Okay, I'm just going to make a rough selection. Uh, with the marquee tool there, you can see I grabbed that. Made it, I'm going to fill, and I want to make sure I'm on content aware. I'm going to hit OK, boom, and you can see hasn't done a very good job. It's quite terrible. It's blotchy. Um, we've still got this area here that's terrible. <laughs> so I'm going to undo that. Control Z, and then what I want to do is grab the clone stamp tool. I'm going to start. I always start with my clone stamp tool. You know, around 50/50, something like that. I'm one of these people. I don't like to. Clone stamp the hell out of something. I'm a bit of a slow builder. I'm on my Wacom tablet, so I'm going to zoom right in here. Now, option commit, option key, or uh, I think it might be Control key on Windows. It selects your source. Okay, so I'm going to select the source. And I'm going to go over here and just paint. And I, I'm just a bit of a slow builder. So I've got my got my Wacom tablet. And when I get in a little bit tighter here, because I've got a really soft brush, guys. When I get a little bit tighter, I'm going to make the brush a lot smaller as I get in tight here. You'll see why in a minute. If I don't, it really softens up that edge too much. So I'm just taking my time. Taking my time, building that break in there. Because then when we do the content aware fill, it's going to be a lot cleaner, a hell of a lot cleaner. It's going to undo that there. And you'll see often I'll, I'll hit the option key, click away, get my source again, move my point, and then, and then keep painting. So you get the idea. All right, we can go a bit bigger. I'll turn it up a bit just for this so we can move things along a little quicker. The last thing you want to see me is clone stamp for half an hour. But anyway, you get the idea. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a break from this element I want to remove and the top of this uh, this headland here. That's what I was thinking. All right, so that's looking pretty good. So if we zoom out, you can see I've made a nice little break there and that should make things a lot easier. We're still going to get that blotch, unfortunately, but we'll fix that up too. So I'm going to do a marquee selection around here. Something like that. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to go fill. I want to make sure I'm on content aware. I'm going to go boom. And it's get, see, it's a lot cleaner. Look at that down there. A lot cleaner. Even though we've got this big ugly blotch, we'll just keep having a go of it. Oh, and that was free transform. And that's not what we want. We want fill. All right. Boom. Again, it's getting better. Getting better. Let's see how we go. We'll get to a point. And what we're going to have to do, fill. Boom. Okay. Pretty good. That's probably as far as we're going to get. So what I need to do now is get that clone stamp tool. Often that content aware feel, guys, one hit and it'll be gone. If you've got a, a, a solid color, you know, like a solid blue or something you want to remove, it will just get rid of that. So easy. So the S key brings back my clone stamp tool. Now I'm going to go a little bit wider here. And what I want to do is I want to hit this here, but I actually want to make sure this... I, I like to build. I'm a, I'm a builder when it comes to clone stamp tool. I hate going too hard. So I'm going to turn this right down. and I'm just going to paint over this area. What I'm doing, I'm just just showing it a bit of love, taking my time with it, and that's looking pretty good. I think that's okay. It's not too bad. I'll probably go a little bit more there, but I won't spend the time. You can see I've just um, put a soft clone stamp over that there, and it's fixed up that blotchy area that's left from the content aware feel. And you can see before, after. Actually, guys, I will leave that tree in. I'm not going to take it out, by the way. <laughs> I just wanted to show you a technique for removing things where you had to break it away from the main area and then do that marquee selection with the content aware feel and then tidy it up a bit with the clone stamp. So that's it. That's a couple of things I like to do. There's a little area down here, which I'm going to have a part two video, and uh, that'll be coming out very soon. 
return, so look out for that. And this has been Johnny for Three Colours Raw, the show that's full of photography love. Head over to threecolors.co and pick up my free Lightroom presets there. You're going to love them. Get over there, get them. Gives you a great starting place for lots of different got lots of different looks there with black and white and just a general starting place for your images, which is, a, which is so handy. It's so nice just to click that and go, hmm, yeah, that looks pretty good, and then just make your changes from there. Love it. Love my Lightroom presets. All right, guys, this has been Johnny for Three Colors. Watch out for the next video. It's coming your way very, very soon. And don't forget to head over to Three Colors, threecolors.co, the site that's full of photography love for all your landscape and nature photography, tips, tricks, business, man, field work. It's all over there. Go and check it out. And of course, leave me some comments under this video. I'd love to hear from you. This has been Johnny for Three Colors. I'm out. Peace.